Hi, my name is Charlie King, and you're watching Goldies on WBS. Everybody stand up and sing. Peace. Hello and welcome to the show where we take you back in time to bring back all the great memories and the song choice is done by the outstanding personalities that we bring you each and every weekend. Remember the show comes to you every Sunday at 6 p.m. and Wednesday at 11.30 a.m. Joining me today to do the choice while we catch up is a man who started it all. One of the first presenters here on WBS TV, the pioneer, the first presenter of Jam Agenda and also the producer of many other TV shows right here on WBS TV. He joins us today coming in all the way from the United States, Colin Serubiri, right here, right now on Goldies. I'm excited to be back. Feels good? You know, feels good. This is always home for me. You know, um, always home for me. Uh, been there, done that been there when everything was nothing mm -hmm. to where it was and to where I left to uh, pursue other things and stuff like that but you know what it's good to be home right I'm excited when I went away and came back people kept on telling me that I've not changed the beat time has stood still for me when I look at you everything uh, is like uh, changed uh, you've grown so much you do you uh, feel different uh, you know what I don't I don't feel different it's just that now I'm getting these vibes from everyone that sees me. They probably don't even know who I am. People but don't they, recognize you. Yeah, but when you tell them, calling like, what? You go tall, you you big and all that. You know, but I don't feel the difference though. But I, I'll, I'll be I, honest I, with I, you. I like the new thing. I've had so many people on Facebook and you know calling me up and asking about you. So many people, to be honest, yeah. and they be like, what happened to this guy? Where is he? So here you are on TV. Yeah. Where have you been? Back. Briefly, tell us what yeah. what have you been uh, yeah. doing? Whew. It's a long story. I'm trying to let me crash 15 years in, in just a couple of lines. Uh, I left way back in uh, 2000 uh, off Jam Agenda. I went to do a, I got a scholarship to go to DC and Atlanta to do a, a course in, in communications. I, uh, there's two of us that actually they were taken that year. It's the first time they actually did that. I went to uh, DC. Uh, enjoyed myself uh, pretty much opened my eyes I was exposed pretty much my eyes were open to uh, to what uh, television was all about film and television was all about went to uh, Atlanta man things were like running fast fast for me uh, I thought I knew a lot of stuff okay but once I got to uh, to the States uh, pretty, you know things were different Things were done differently. Uh, I saw this whole new world, and that started my story. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, did uh, school, did film school, uh, got down with film school. So you kept it in the line of your work, yeah. In TV, entertainment, production, and all that. Yeah, I stayed on the grind for a while, but then uh, uh, when I opened my eyes, I, I figured I have to really go back to school. And school meant not the, not the six months, but the whole like three years in school and you know, rediscover myself. I, by the time I left, I was uh, a pretty young, yeah. pretty young kid. So I got issues with me by the time I left. Um, I still need to grow up. You know, it took me a while to figure out things on my own. I had, you know, it took me a while to discover who I was. All right, Colin, let's take a breather right now. Warm ourselves up with some music. You know, it's all about the old school. You're doing the choice throughout the hour. Wow. Hit us with your first song when we come back. More juicy stories.
from Colin. We are back right here on Goldie, sitting down with the former TV presenter and producer uh, right here on WBS TV. He used to host Gem Agenda, produce uh, Showtime magazine. How many other shows were you producing Man, back I then? I did Cook and Dine, I did Teens Club on Saturday. Ah, you used Teens Club as well? Teens Club on Saturday, I directed the news. And yes, the news. Sir. I was the news director. The first gig that I ever got on this station, I was the news director. You mentioned news. I had no idea you were doing <laughs> news. Oh, um, uh, folks don't know that I, uh, the first gig that I ever did at the station was a news director. Directing the news. It's the strangest thing, but I was there. I was pretty young, mm -hmm. and I was with the, the veterans, the, the, the Francis and the whole clique. There's like five guys with me. And I was the one directing the news, you know, back in the raw sound, cut pictures, tape. Right. Yeah, take the take commercial break and all that. Count down to the five. Way back in the day when. when How did you join TV? Because I remember I heard about WBS through Elvis uh, when I was still abroad, and never, when I came back, you yeah. know, it was easy for me to make my way through. How did you get into WBS and television? WBS. I got here. I used to host. Uh, the, you know, Sabrina was a big place way back in the day. They had a karaoke. Oh yes karaoke night Strucker yeah. used to do that so you used to do that with Strucker. this is way this is way back this is like way back when when uh, hope mokas had just opened the place up okay and it used to like feel every single saturday that's how we started uh, i was there i met uh i saw elvis one time when he came over there and then i had a small gig that i used to do at uh, uh at, the, at, at the pool back in um in kansanga uh, back at that uh, hotel at the, at the top and Elvis used to come over there so one day I, 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 I heard I heard Hope told me that uh, he uh, they, were, they were planning on opening up a station a TV station I'm like that, that's cool I want to get on TV so uh, Hope helped me somehow we uh, linked up with Elvis okay. I told Elvis hey listen you give me the chance I'm a fly with this. The race is history, and that's how you you started up. That's how I got in. So when I got in, there was no uh, there was no music show. There's nothing. There was no thing. There was nothing. There was just news. They were trying to build the news to a certain level. So I got in. Uh, this, uh, directed the news at that time, and it's through that process I walked into uh, Elvis's uh, office and told him, "Listen, I have an idea about a music show called Jam Agenda." So all this was your idea, Jam Agenda, putting everything together. That it was your was idea. That, it was yes, that was my idea. Okay. I mean, they said why Jam Agenda? Like, there's a ton of names, you know. So we went back and forth. Why the, the name? Why this? And why that? And then by that time, the only thing that was going on was Channel O and MTV. Oh yes. Mm -hmm. But uh, man, thank, thank. Thank, thank God to Elvis. You know, he, he always backed me up. He was, he said, oh, listen, you want to do it, uh, you know, go go get it. Yeah. Yeah. And that, much respect to Elvis. Oh, much. He's helped yeah, uh, he, so uh, many of us, you know, get, he, get, he, get it started. He, he always was the, the uh, you know, the, the, the blueprint. Okay. The one that said, listen, I see something in you, you go get it. Let's get the show rolling on with the choice of your music. What next do you have for us, Colin? My next song. Ah. Uh, Craig Mack, Flavor in Your Air. I used to play this song way back in the day. I love this track, man. Enjoy it, man. Mm -hmm. 